Hi, Dave Wilson here again and today I'm going to look at these anodized aluminium sheets. So time to get a bit colourful. Follow me. This is called aluminium. Okay, it's called aluminium because Sir Humphrey Davy, the British chemist who named it back in 1812, he called it aluminium. Just to be perfectly accurate, in 1990 the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry officially recognised this substance as aluminium with an I. So it's aluminium, that's what it is, that's what Sir Humphrey Davy called it. It's aluminium. So once out of the packaging we can see the colours now. So we've got this beautiful gold, uh, we've got a deep purple which is my favourite, uh, a nice deep uh, red one, sky blue and a nice grass green colour. All of the sheets are uh, 10 by 10 centimetres and 07 millimetre thick so they're really great for stamping, punching out or piercing. Now you'll notice that the anodised finish uh, gives it this beautiful colour but you can still see the surface of the aluminium underneath so it has a beautiful kind of slightly satin almost look to it very very beautiful I can tilt that to the camera hopefully you can see that um, it doesn't have a plastic covering on it like the silver does so do be careful keep it wrapped up and only uncover it when you're working on it now first time I've worked with aluminium so I don't know how durable this coating is so that's one of the things I want to discover how tough this anodizing is you can't solder aluminium not like you can silver so we're going to have to work with cold connections so riveting drilling punching jump rings connecting things onto chains and links what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this into the workshop try out a few ideas, play around with different things and I'll come back later, I'll show you the final pieces and I'll talk about any problems or anything that I've discovered along the way. So this is a necklace that I made and the inspiration was the planets of the solar system. Each one of these planets was cut out from the sheet using a, a disc cutter. You can see some of the shapes there. And then what I did, each one was put into a doming block and domed. Um, so here we go. So this first one, the little red one, this is Mercury I think. This was filed uh, with a, a sanding disc, you know on a flexi shaft. So you can see you've got to, where the sandpaper has gone through it, uh, you get the silver colour of the aluminium underneath. But even so, the finish is quite tough, it doesn't flake off, it doesn't scratch off, uh, it's quite tough. Now with this one, this, uh, this is the gold one, this was polished with some kind of triple pre-polish on a little hard felt pendant wheel. Uh, and you can see the where I've pressed down it just kind of whirs it. So it's very subtle but it creates a subtle texture on it. Um, this one, earth, this was done with a small wire brush in the pendant drill, a steel brush. So you can see where I press harder, it scrubs away the surface. It takes a few seconds to do this, it is quite resilient. And then where I've touched it lighter you get almost a pale blue cloud effect. So that's quite nice. Uh, this one's a little bit different. Uh, this is, which one's this? This is Mars. Um, this is textured with a rolling mill so what I did I cut a small piece of the red sheet out run it through the roller mill with a textured roller and I then cut a disc out and domed it so that's kind of quite nice it's a nice kind of crattled finish uh, this big one Jupiter this was cut out of the purple sheet so you can see it has a kind of matte finish and I polished this with brass wire brush in the pendant drill. So this is nice and subtle and you can see where I've pressed it a bit harder it strips away the surface and you get the silver lines underneath. Uh, once again this is Saturn that's where it's got the gold sort of ring round it, Saturn's ring. This is Saturn. Um, this was done with a brass brush but I used a new brush and I just touched it lightly so you probably can't even see that on the camera but there's just a very very faint horizontal texture on it 
these are Neptune and Uranus and again these were done with the brass brush very very soft on this one and a little bit harder on this one I think I might have even used a steel brush just to touch on that just to get a few paler areas and lastly here this is Pluto uh, this is actually a piece of the gold anodized aluminium in fact it's actually it's actually that hole there and I used a little drum sander on the pendant drill for that to strip the surface completely and I've left it with a kind of matte sanded finish so that's quite nice uh, this was done with the gold the big hole there so you can kind of see the difference there before and after and this was put on the bench polisher uh, using some very harsh polish it's, uh, it's like tougher than Tripoli and there's two things to notice first of all the edge has got a beautiful mirror shine on it it's almost like silver um, so that's something I didn't realize you can actually polish it on the bench polisher and it will respond like silver so you can get a mirror finish on it uh, and the other thing is you might notice the the gold anodizing in the middle fades out towards the edge and you get a kind of slight dull silver color underneath this is where it's worn out because I've polished it heavier around the edge so that's a nice effect as well and once again the anodized finish it didn't come off it doesn't flake it doesn't chip um, so you can do those kind of effects with it so that's kind of quite nice now because this surface is is quite tough uh, it doesn't flake it doesn't chip off it's absolutely superb for engraving these are just little uh, diamond burrs that I've got on the flexi shaft so this was punched out using a Swanstrom heart shaped cutter so I punched it out and I just engraved love on the front uh, I'm not the best engraver in the world but maybe you were and again look at the back that's been punched out it's been drilled and you know there's not a mark on it so the surface really is quite tough now this was a little bit of an experiment uh, I had a metal cut out uh, a laser cut leaf so I put it on and I embossed it using the rolling mill it punched in but where it was punched in it was still red because it, it hadn't even scratched the surface so I just went over this with the same little diamond bit uh, in the flexi shaft and just engraved it so that's been embossed and engraved and then to finish off I just put it in a dapping block and just curved it a little bit so I really like that I think there's definitely a lot of potential for that for stamping texturing and then engraving over the top this really is great for piercing it's so easy to cut and saw but as you can see it's it's still nice and tough and again as I'm discovering this anodized finish really is quite tough uh, and you can pierce it there's no reason why you couldn't engrave it as well um, this is the Chinese symbol for love so this took quite a bit of piercing but it wasn't difficult it wasn't hard to do and again the back there nice and clean so it didn't take much finishing up so all I need to do is pop that on a jump ring and I've got a beautiful pendant there uh, that was cut out by a, a durst and disc cutter by the way uh, if you wanted to dome this I did make one of these and try doming it and it just it fell to bits so if you do want to dome something dome it first and then pierce it so there you go um, I hope I've inspired you to play around with this stuff uh, it really is quite cool uh, the only drawback is, like I say, you can't solder it like you can with silver and gold but it's really easy to work with, it's easy to cut, bend, shape, saw um, the surface is really tough and it'll stand up to use for jewellery um, the idea that you can cut through the surface and engrave it as well gives you endless possibilities for textures, colours, engraving ideas, names, patterns, all kinds of things so especially if you're a beginner and you, you know you're not too familiar with working with silver and gold yet check out some of this anodized aluminium sheet um, it's really great stuff so I hope I've inspired you I've been Dave Wilson thanks for watching see you next time